Oh, you think I can't catch you from there either? I got you. I got your number. All right, we can go English, Espanol, Francis, Dush. Uh, we can go complete weep. We can just go complete weep over the top. But I probably don't want to do that, so I'm going to straight, straight for English. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me know if the volume's good and everything. All right, we're being blinded right off the bat. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Are we ready talking to Arceus right off the bat? It is well that thou art here. I am that which all humans call Arceus. There's no all there. I don't know why I added that. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Alright. We're gonna pick literally white trainer, but with a darkened skin tone. Let's go with that. What is thy name? My name is Anna. Kulos. I picked their canon name if I knew it. But we'll go with Inoculus. Yes. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. You always gotta get that little initial speech about, like, welcome to the world of Pokemon. This is our. Pokemon. Inoculus. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. How about you seek out some bitches? Have you ever tried seeking that out, Arceus? Some bitches? Oh, weave. You're not getting that. Are we being reincarnated? Did we get, like, s killed in the previous life and now we're, uh, we're jamming with the Pokemon? Oh, fix that. There you go. Arceus, please, that's my Android. Oh, he upgraded that. He turned that into an iPhone. He wasn't going to reincarnate us with us still having an android, apparently. So far, I kind of like this intro. This is a really nice intro. Yo, oh, that's that piano strokes. Reminiscent of Breath of the Wild. Fix something over here real quick. -y. One second, guys. Wake up. Fix this real quick. -y. So far, that intro was uh, my phone is a downgrade. Uh, I I would agree with you, but knowing the kind of environment that we're in. People will be like, oh, no, because uh, FaceTime and other features that you probably really don't need or that iPhone has already had. All right. All right, let's do it. Put that back here. Yeah, turning up my monitor's brightness. Get a little, see it a little bit better. All right, wake up. Oh, do wake up, don't you? Won't you? Can't read. Are you alive, my boy? No, I'm faded. 
I'm faded. I just spoke to God. Here we are. Did our three starters. All from different generations. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. What is that to the left hand side of you, dude? Who are you? Where am I? Why, well, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did the shock of you or your fall somehow addle your memory? I'm really not on my reading game right now. I must say your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't have ha you wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. Doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? If you're somewhere around here, you could stay. No, nowhere. Bro, I'm homeless. The poor defenseless child is out here. You don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. I see, when those gentlemen would abandon a person in need, in such need. Mm. Alright. I assume that's- I don't know how to make those sounds. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. But how do you even know what a Pokemon is? Do you even know what a Pokemon is? I cannot read. Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, huh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Oh, -ho, so you're called Anaculus. Yes, so I am. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. But I do apologize, I haven't even introduced myself yet, Lavington. My name is Lavington. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Why'd you refer to them? Why'd you perceive them? Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terrible sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three. Wait. Alright, let's go. Controls feel pretty responsive. Oh, that's the sneaking feature. What a good run of Pokemon's fade from behind. Alright. So yeah, we have the run. And then we have dash. Okay. We're doing it. Oh, the Arceus phone. Investigate. I cannot put that in my pocket. That is so pointy. It's probably your phone, but it's strange shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon the arc this arc phone and thy missions. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay. Just in general. So is the mission as usual to catch them all? Alright, cool. Let's go find these three Pokemon for your boy. Whoa, okay. Uh, let's look at these trees. They're pretty... I don't know. Seems fine to me so far. Alas, yet another miss. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see? Sounds like a skill issue. Not much I can tell you besides the skill issue. I'd love to give you a go at it. But perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. No, I... Bro. These are like... 10 generation old Pokemon except for Rowlet. And even he's not the newest generation. No, yes he is. I, I don't know why I thought he was from Sun and Moon for a second. 
No, yeah. No, you are from Sun, Sun and Moon. You're not even the newest generation. Don't tell me what to do. Rallo can photosize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Oh, calm down. Models are looking a little dusty, but it's whatever. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Uh, I'm probably gonna pick you out of all three, because Typhlosion go dummy. That Pokemon near the pond is Oshawa. Samurott also go dummy. So this is a bit of a hard decision, but if I had to pick between fire and water, I would pick fire. Oshawa naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. You think I don't know how to catch Pokemon? Get this apricot! What is this thing? What it- Yo! Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. They'll leave that Pokemon to catch them. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather necessary materials. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I mentioned already the Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. What? What? What, uh... What did he mean? Oh, I, I guess. I thought the Pokeball did that part. Let me Owen, God. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon, and why Pokemon will shrink down if they're inside the ball, comfy as could be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. So you're trying to say that all this time, them shrinking down isn't a product of the Pokeball, but a product of the Pokemon themselves all having this power to shrink themselves down to any... What? 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 No, I swear to God, that's never how it worked. So, it's not the Pokeball that makes them tiny. It's the Pokemon themselves have genetics that make them tiny to fit inside this enclosed space. That doesn't make sense. Did I misunderstand? That doesn't make sense, right? I know we've just met, but I'm afraid no one else to turn- I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Uh, I guess to how they understand it in the past. But... I guess? I guess. They never really explain it in the future anyways either. Besides, it just lets you catch Pokemon. But it, like, the way that Pokemon Pokeballs are portrayed... Is that they straight up turn to vaporize. They, they like vaporize into the red light and go into the ball like it's a virtual thing. This makes it sound like they're just chilling inside the Pokeball as a storage container. Whereas in Pokemon, they straight up become digital data da da data with Pokeballs. Our unique technique is to aim at the Pokemon, let the ball fly. It's quite simple. So far be it for me to say so, I suppose given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, it is impressed me to stop taking aim. Can I pick that one back up? No? What's up, bro? Gotcha. We got it. Quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business. It's all a useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling left runaways now. So this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Now I'm built different, dog. I'm constructive alternatively. I've done this. What's up, bro? You think I can't hit you from there? You think I can't hit you from there? Gotcha. You're done. I can hardly believe it, Inoculus. Incredible. You know, no many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. 
Just one more to go. Let's wrap this shop this sharpish, shall we? Alright, what's the last one? Oh, you think I can't catch you from there either? I got you. I got your number. Oh wow, that goes. Alright. Alright, no. There's a there's certainly a distance of how far he'll throw it. No, what? <laughs> that hitbox. Okay, so it doesn't have to be actually it doesn't have to actually touch him, right? Yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100 percent foolproof. Give it another gold, boy. There's uh no I did not hit that Oshawott, so does it just kind of go in the direction? Oh, okay, so it seems like if I throw it within that general like white arc, it'll hit it'll hit them. Okay, that's cool. I thought you actually had to make contact with the Pokemon. But I guess that's not the case. You've got to throw it in their general jurisdiction. You see, the three Pokemon you've caught have only just arrived in the village to help with our research. They won't let you listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village, almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Inoculus, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ab ably when you've only just arrived here? Well, one can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Ah, uh, check out this Arceus phone. You ain't got one, huh? Pope, Steve, he got all Pokemon. The object is an art phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream. The compiler's region's first complete rec record of its Pokemon. Alright. Pokedex? Cool. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes. A proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed re records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one of us, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon minus to have all these Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come on, now what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Alright, cool. I'm digging it. I do like catching them all. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. I'm digging this game so far. I'm digging the intro. I'm digging it. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. And the Switch, it can only run so much. Like, yeah, it's a little rougher on the edges, but it's a Switch. What do you expect? So far, it's not bad. We even got the evil mountain. Oh, whoa! We Japaneses. As hell. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him to the village for a bit. Okay, there we go. Nice town. Brick houses, though. Oh, no, it's wood. No, that left house is brick, but the rest of them are just wood. Professor looks extremely out of place, you think so? Uh, he could just be, uh, eccentric. Most smart people are pretty eccentric. I understand if you must be a bit more... Uh, I I, dude, I can't even read that. I didn't even press the A button. He just... They just gave me literally five seconds to read that. This road run down is known to the locals as Canala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's not much to do and not many to do it. I can't read your dialogue and also the people I'm walking past. And since we know so little, the little Pokemon people has it that put outside the village. The manner of dress is that... Ah, no, you're not trying to get on me. Oh, Arthritis knocking in the knees, head-ass boy. Who are you talking to? 
I, I can read the bottom dialogue. Calm down. They're like throwing all this text in front of my face. This is the person of that child? Strangers. I understand you must be more than a tad curious about the village. I, you're giving me literally two seconds. All botheration. I had almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? Let's pass this bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Alright, cool. And he's gone. Their arc phone is beeping. Somehow it shows you where you need to go next. Okay, we got a map. 